Many transceiver impairments can combine to limit overall link performance in DSP transceivers. The AFE's imperforated noise and distortion combines with uh, residual intersymbol interference because equalization can't take care of all of it. Jitter at both the transmitter and receiver are inevitable impairments. And the ABC itself will introduce quantization noise, thermal noise, and nonlinearities as well. Finally, we will not make full use of the ADC's full dynamic range because the analog front end will not produce a perfectly flat response and there will be some ripple so that some frequencies are not um, properly amplified. A 200 gigabits per second signal integrity depends heavily on packaging. Here's an example of a cabled interface between host and module, six inches long. Module has about a two inch trace on it. And in each of the cases, there's approximately 15 dB loss at Nyquist. The only difference is the package design of the host. With varying package sizes, we get varying lengths of package trace, which causes the reflections due to package discontinuities to move around. In fact, the largest reflection amplitude is seen with a relatively short 10 millimeter package trace shown here in orange. That's because the longer traces push reflections farther out, but make them smaller in magnitude due to attenuation of the package trace. Here we see an analysis of 200 gig system performance for a channel with modest loss, about 20 dB at Nyquist. The severity of various transceiver impairments are swept individually to assess which impairments the link is most sensitive to. Among all these different transceiver impairments, we see the system is by far the most sensitive to the number of equalizer taps and the severity of the discontinuities at either end of the link, the TX die cap and termination inductance, which give rise to reflections, of course. Generally, at 200 gig, short links are extremely sensitive to termination and package discontinuities unless highly capable equalizers are provided. In this analysis of 200 gig link performance, the CTLE peaking frequency and gain are swept for different numbers of equalization taps in the receiver. We see that signal integrity can't be assured unless we have at least 15 FFE taps. Once we have a sufficient number of equalizer tabs, it would appear that we require about 35 gigahertz of bandwidth in the CTLE to achieve an adequate bit error rate. The following slides analyze 200 gig links over six example channels illustrated here, having channel losses progressively increasing from 7.4 dB up to 38.6 dB. With extensive DSP, in this case, a 35 tap FFE and one tap DFE, our target bit error rate can be met by scaling the bandwidth only 1.6 times compared to that of a 100 gig transceiver. Even in channels five and six, having over 30 dB channel loss, we see that the adequate bit error rate is achieved by having a bandwidth of only 1.6 times that of the 100 gig transceiver. Looking at the linearity requirements for a 200 gig receiver here versus a baseline of zero dB, we see that the relatively short and smooth loss channels, number one and four, benefit significantly from improved linearity in the front end. 